Okay, what up guys? Today I'm back and today I'm here today. Um, I want to talk to y'all about something. Now, this is going to be sort of like that video I made yesterday on how to dress like a 2000s kid. So today's video, I want to do a little bit something a little bit different than that. Today guys, I'm going to show you guys how to dress like a cholo. Now, a cholo is basically a game like, like, a, I don't know what, I don't know what that, um, that, um, game's called. I think it's the MS-13 or something like that. I don't know, but it's kind of like that. So first of all, let me show you guys what y'all gonna need. So, first what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need some of these. Now, for most of you guys out there. Who don't know Dickies, which most of you probably do. You're gonna wanna buy like a big jaunt size. This is a this is a 46 guys. And I wear like a 32, so it's you know, it's way bigger than me. But um as you see it's the expensive con. You can buy the Walmart con. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be the like expensive con. This is what you're gonna need first of all. Um, pretty awesome shorts. I own about a couple more pairs of these actually. Um, next up, what you're gonna need is is you're gonna need this. Now, this is just a, a grave digger shirt I got laying around. Um, you're gonna need a cold white T-shirt. Now. Most cholos, they dress like that. I mean, tattoos all over them, mustache. Now, I don't, well, I, I usually dress something like that. I wear most of my clothes bigger. Um, but, I mean, that's just how I do it. But, yeah, you're going to need a long white shirt. Get you a bigger size. You don't want a small one because it's not going to look right because it's not going to go good with your, you know, your big shorts that you got. Yeah, you're gonna need one of these. Um, next up is, and this is just a hat that I had laying in my closet. You can wear it anyway, doesn't matter. You don't have to wear a hat at all. But next up, you're gonna wanna get a hat. Now, you're gonna wanna put it on sort of like this. Kind of put push it up sort of like that and like that. Or just don't wear one at all. This and this is just the grave digger hat I got with that shirt. And next up, what you're gonna need is now this is the most important thing of being a cholo or dressing like a cholo. Is you're gonna need one of these bandanas. Now I think I said this in my last video. Um Get you one of these bandanas. They sell these at Walmart for like a couple, maybe two or three books. I don't really know. Um, but you're going to need a bandana. So get you just any bandana. I just got one with skulls on it. doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be that. Just, I don't know. Just get any kind of bandana you want. It doesn't really matter. And... Next up is this. You're gonna wanna get you a belt. Now this is just a George belt I bought from Walmart. It's got like these metal rings on it. But you're gonna wanna buy the belt big. Cause as y'all guys know, cholos, they wear their belts hanging probably almost down to their knees. So you're gonna wanna get a long, long belt like probably like a 40 something if like if you wear about a 32 like me you're gonna want to get like a 40 something belt and like a 46 shorts now you can make it work because I made mine work it does bunch up in the front but I mean it does work so yeah you're gonna want a long belt and next up this what you're gonna need these now these are just some globes that I've got. These ain't really 
considered cholo shoes, I guess. Um, this is the clo well, this is just shoes that I skateboard in. Um, which globe is not really popular anymore, but I still I still wear them anyway, cause they're well I find they're one of the best skateboard shoes out there. Even though they're made in China, they're one of the toughest. So yeah, you're just gonna want some big. You can get some Nikes. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be these. Just get any kind of shoes you want. So it doesn't really matter what kind you do. Um, and one thing I want to tell you guys is. This would be good for like maybe a Halloween costume or something. Or if you're just trying to go walking around Los Angeles. Doesn't really matter. Now if most of you don't know this, up in Los Angeles, they dress like that a lot. So up in Los Angeles, let me just tell you a story right quick. Up in Los Angeles, they, like cholos, man, they dress like that all the time. If y'all don't know, if you, ever, if you live in California... Tell me in the comments how many of you live in California. If you live in California, y'all know most cholos. They live on like, like they got the bloods. The bloods live over there like, like, well, it's Grove Street on Grand Theft Auto. But they live more like a neighborhood like that. The cholos hang out over there by the L.A. River. Now, the L.A. River is that um, canal they got going out to the ocean out there. So most cholos, they hang out over there. I mean, I don't know. But I mean, yeah guys, that's how most cholos dress. So, I mean, like I said, it's good just to goof around with if you're just looking for a, a, just a costume or something to wear around or just normal clothes. Maybe you guys dress like that anyway. Now, probably not, because most kids, like I said in my last video, they don't dress like that anymore. Now, cholos, they still dress like that for sure. Shoot, I, you think that's big, guys? I done seen this dude. He's a cholo. He done, wear, he done wore pants and shorts that is so bunched up in the front. It's literally, he's literally got his bandana going through the belt. So, I mean, yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. But, um... Yeah, guys, I mean, that's how you dress like a cholo. Like I said, get you a belt, a bandana, a hat. You don't got to wear a hat anymore. A white t-shirt. Um, and some nice big John Dickey shorts. So, yeah, guys, that's going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did... You can find most of that at the thrift store. That's where I bought all my clothes from, really. So go to the thrift store if you um, want to dress like, well, want to just dress up like that for one day, maybe two days, maybe three, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's going to end this video here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I pretty hope, hope y'all did very much so. So if you did, hit the thumbs up button and yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I've hit one subscriber. It's not good at all. But, um, I mean, it's better than nothing. But like I always say, guys, it's not about the views. It's not about the subscribers. It's the joy in doing it. And I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow for another great video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, it doesn't matter what the style is nowadays. Dress the way you want to dress. Don't worry about what people think. Don't worry. None of that. Dress the way you want to dress. And, um, yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And, I don't know. Uh, I'll see you guys in another video. I'm still, I want to make another, um, four video. So, I'm still looking, I'm still working on the videos, what I meant to say. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace. So, yeah, see you guys in the next one, and have a great day. So, I don't know. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a nice night, and take care. Remember, go to the thrift store. If you want to buy, if you want to find clothes like that, go to the thrift store. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.